This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Shooting with the 80 Explorer 300 with no bracket, no, we're doing manual. All right, first up is the 85 1.2 RF on the Canon EOS R. Let's see what kind of results we get. Tilt the head back, yep, yeah, that's, that's the money shot. All right, now we're gonna be doing the 85 1.2 DS, the smoothening. We're gonna see the difference between this and the 85 1.2 RF. Since the D smoothening is a coat, it's like almost like a tint on the lens, I'm gonna need to raise my ISO up because it's, it's, it's affecting my exposure. So I'm gonna raise my ISO to 1-800 and see if that works. One, two, three. One, two, let me see. For these shots, I thought about using flash, but I'm not, I'm gonna go natural light because using one light and there's no rim light, sometimes it can, the, the image can look kind of flat. So I'm gonna just go natural light. I'm gonna wing it. So you had a little, like that, yeah. There you go. One, two, three. Now the 85 1.2 RF. And now I see right away the exposure changes. It's a lot brighter because it doesn't have the tint. So I'm gonna have to just raise my shutter speed a little bit. Mmm, okay. Boom. Uh, uh. Yes, sir. All right, now 85 1.2 RF lens at F1.2. Here we go. All right, now we're switching to the 1.2 DS. Not much of a difference that I can see at least in the camera. The bokeh looks a little different. I guess it depends on what kind of background it is, but isn't much different so far other than the exposure change that I'm getting. I feel like the background looks more like Gaussian blur with the defocus smoothing, but we'll have to bring it in the, the computer to really see what it's doing. Go ahead, keep going, do your thing. See, I saw for 300. Here we go. One, two, three. Raise your chin just a little bit. So what's my shot look like before, just like that? Let's go here.
if it isn't enough of a shock to the system, the 85 1.2 RF is $2,700. But the deep, bless you, baby. But the deep focus smoothening lens is $3,000. What are you getting with that extra money? What is deep focus smoothening all about? That's what we're going to talk about because you're spending this much money. You got to know what you're getting. You know what's funny is that with, the, with these light bulbs in this spot, I thought this was going to be the ultimate, the best comparison to see the difference. But surprisingly, when I scroll through these images, there's barely any difference in the background here. I'll tell you one thing that I did notice though, and that's the light loss with the 85 1.2 DS because of this coating that's on the lens. You're losing about 1.5 stops of light. And what that forces you to do is jack up your ISO, make your shutter speed slower, and that sucks when you're trying to shoot in low light. But here is where I saw some difference. Look at the railing in the background. Do you see, this is the DS, that is the RF. The RF, the background is just blurrier. And if I'm buying a 1.2 lens, I want a background to be as blurry as possible. That's pretty much the whole point. And I'm getting that with the RF. With the DS, it seems like the background is more intact. It, the, the background blur looks more artificial, in my opinion. It's almost like going to Gaussian blur in your Photoshop and just slapping Gaussian blur on a background. That's the kind, those are the kind of vibes I'm getting with the defocus smoothening. This one is actually the best comparison shot that I took here. There are Christmas lights in those trees behind her, in those tree branches. Look at this. Do you see what happens here? So the 85 1.2 gives you a more traditional background blur bokeh effect. Whereas the DS gives you more like, it looks like a dwarf star. I feel that the regular 85 1.2 gives you more of character in your background. And look at, look at the background in general. Look how much more blurrier it is with the regular 85 than with this lens. Again, if I'm spending over $2,700, for a lens at f1.2 i want a, a background that gives that that looks like an f1.2 not like an f1.8 with gaussian blur applied to it that's just my opinion when comparing both of these lenses i also have to take into account that the 85 1.2 ds has special elements inside that are supposed to help it with flaring and removing and suppressing chromatic aberration which most wide aperture lenses suffer from this is what it also has in my testing, I really can't tell the difference, in my opinion, and I haven't really gotten any chromatic aberration with either one. The sharpness is exactly the same on both of the lenses. I personally think that the bokeh and the defocusing, smoothening aspect of the lens is the main difference and what you should be focusing on when looking at both of these lenses. If you are shooting at nighttime, when you're shooting with a lot of specular lights in the background, that's when you're really gonna notice the difference between these two lenses. In my opinion though, I'm still going for the 85 1.2 RF non defocus smoothening because the background blur just gives you more, there's more character in the background. And also the background just seems to be more blurry with the 85 1.2. My personal recommendation, I'm going with this one. But first, before I leave, I want to send a shout out to my sponsor for this video, and that is Squarespace. If you are looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. If you go to my website, you will see that I have an online store with them. I sell my presets and my retouching tutorial on how to edit skin and, and how to take your portraits to the next level. I have my own store on there, and I make great side, uh, great side income with my online store with Squarespace hosting, it's super easy to set up and your work looks super high quality on your website. You could change it up at a click of a button. Check it out, seriously, check it out. I've got a coupon code. If you use the, if you, if you use the coupon code Manny, you can go check it out and you can get 10% off your first purchase, all right? Anyways, um, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you in the next one.